Hello everyone! Today we're gonna be talking about diabetic retinopathy. More exactly, what diabetic retinopathy is, what causes it, what symptoms you have when you got it, different phases of this disease, and some diabetic retinopathy home remedies that you can prepare by yourselves. What is diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy, or diabetic eye disease, abbreviated DED, is an eye medical condition which damages the retina of the people who have diabetes. This is the main cause of blindness in many countries. What causes the diabetic retinopathy? Diabetic retinopathy happens because of damage to the small neurons and blood vessels of the retina. When the blood sugar and blood pressure is too high in the tiny blood vessels in the eye, these spring a leak and release blood into it. What are the signs and symptoms of diabetic retinopathy? Difficulty seeing at night, vision loss, floaters, spots or strings, trouble seeing colors, blurry vision, vision changes that come and go, hazy vision, and dark spots or empty areas of vision. Technically, there are four different diabetic retinopathy stages. The first three disease stages fall into non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, short NPDR. Stage 1 – Mild non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. In the first NPDR stage, known as mild non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, the tiny blood vessels in the eye start to swell and, in some proportions, can start to leak into the eye. With these small leaks, you may or may not notice any alterations to your vision. This stage is also called background diabetic retinopathy when you have no symptoms. Stage 2 – Moderate Non-Proliferative Diabetic Retinopathy Once the blood vessels start swelling inside the eye, you have moderate non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy. At this stage, blood vessels can start to lose their capacity to carry blood. You'll start losing your vision as swelling affects the macula, a tiny region in the center of the eye that lets you see things like words or faces. In medical terms, this is called macular edema, and it's the most common reason people with diabetes type 1 and 2 lose sight. Stage 3 – Severe Non-Proliferative Diabetic Retinopathy The blood vessels in the retina begin to close in extreme non-proliferative diabetic retinopathy, preventing enough blood from reaching the macula. This is called macular ischemia, which results in vision that is blurry. Your eyes begin to give your body the signal to create new blood vessels in the region, this leading to the final stage of the disease. It is recommended to treat the early stages of the eye diabetic retinopathy, otherwise it will progress to the last stage. Stage 4 – Proliferative Diabetic Retinopathy this is the last stage of the disease, and in this phase of the disease, the eye starts to grow new blood vessels. But these new vessels are very thin and delicate, and can start bleeding, making the people which are in this stage to see dark floaters. If the bleeding is excessive, this can cause losing vision totally. The problem with new blood vessels is that they can cause the growth of scar tissue which can lead to other problems such as a detached retina or problems with the macula. Diabetic Retinopathy Detection If you have diabetes, it is recommended to do a diabetic retinopathy examination regularly because the disease can cause partial or total blindness. An eye doctor can diagnose all early stages of this illness during a diabetic retinopathy examination. The diabetic retinopathy diagnosis typically develops about 10 to 15 years after the patient is identified with diabetes mellitus. 
According to statistics, diabetic retinopathy affects up to 80% of people who have had diabetes for 20 years or more. More than 90% of new cases could be reduced with proper eye monitoring and treatment. You should know that all people with diabetes are at risk, the ones with type 2 diabetes as well as those with type 1 diabetes. What are the risk factors of this disease? Diabetes, poor blood sugar control, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes type 1 or even type 2 during pregnancy, smoking, and older age. The longer a person had diabetes, the higher their risk of developing diabetic retinopathy. Diabetic retinopathy may also be a problem for pregnant women with diabetes. It's recommended that, during pregnancy, all women with diabetes should have at least one eye examination. The good news is that there are some home remedies which can help you to prevent the diabetic retinopathy development or delay as much as possible the operation of it. These home remedies are also beneficial in the incipient phase of diabetic retinopathy and can be treated with ingredients which can be easily found inside the kitchen in almost every home. It's important to keep in mind that the cure for diabetic retinopathy should be supervised and taken care of by an eye doctor. Home remedies for diabetic retinopathy are much more economical than any other modern medicine treatments, but they should not be used as a permanent solution. It's known that this illness is a very severe one, and the treatment of diabetic retinopathy at home is not 100% possible, but these natural cures can assist in prevention. However, diabetic retinopathy home remedies should be only seen as a side option as they are not the right way for the diabetic retinopathy treatment. There are 5 common diabetic retinopathy home remedies available for you. Number 1. Fenugreek Seeds These seeds help you controlling and regulating the cholesterol level in the body, which is very important for a person suffering of diabetic retinopathy. Fenugreek seeds are also beneficial in maintaining health of other vital organs like the heart, liver, and kidney. It would be good if you could include the fenugreek seeds in your daily diet as well. The seeds can be consumed in any suitable form by people diagnosed with type 1 and 2 diabetes and also affected by diabetic retinopathy. Number 2. Amla Juice Amla has a generous amount of required nutrients and contains vitamin A and C. Furthermore, folic acid is found in a high amount in Amla. All these factors are extremely good for the eyes as they help improve your eyesight and it's recommended to be consumed by people with diabetic retinopathy. The Amla juice should be drunk while having an empty stomach so that it can cleanse the entire body system. Number 3. Bottle Gourd Juice Bottle Gourd Juice is high in vitamin C, which also helps improving the eyesight of people suffering of diabetic retinopathy. According to recent studies, patients with type 1 and 2 diabetes who drank bottle gourd juice twice a week were found to have significant improvements in the eyesight. Bottle gourd juice can be consumed daily in the morning with an empty stomach for the maximum benefit. Number 4. Parsley and Carrots Containing carotenoids, including beta-carotene, parsley and carrots have strong antioxidant effects and can improve your vision. Carotenoids also help to prevent the age-related macular degeneration. Number 5. Fennel Fennel is packed with a lot of nutrients that are known to boost your vision. It can improve eye health by slowing down the growth of cataracts. It's recommended to consume the grinded fennel seeds together with almonds, then combine it with 2 tablespoons of honey every day before going to sleep. Be advised, this is just an informative article. For any problems regarding diabetic retinopathy, please make sure to make an appointment with your doctor. 
the diabetic retinopathy condition can get very serious and lastly lead to blindness if it's not treated correctly. Thank you very much for watching! If you want to see more videos related to natural remedies and health benefits, which you can easily prepare by ourselves at home, then please feel free to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button and make sure to click the bell so you'll receive notifications every time I post a new video. With that said, have a great day and take care!